Last video is 2019, and I thought I'd come on here and talk about the NFL coaching vacancies, some of the coaching hires already, who I think uh, is in the best situation, who is in the worst situation, and just some other things uh, as Black Monday just passed and as organizations that are not in the playoffs um, competing for a Super Bowl championship, how they are building towards the future. Hope everyone has a happy, safe New Year's. Bring in the new decade. This is going to be so much fun. 2019, thank you. You have brought me a lot, including doing these videos, so this is awesome. But um, first of all, Ron Rivera, the former head coach of my Carolina Panthers, has agreed to a five-year deal with the Washington Redskins. Uh, so guess what? We get to see another Carolina North. Um, Washington is a really good spot for Ron. They need a culture change. They let go of their president and VP of base of football operations, uh, Bruce Allen, as well. I just hope Dan Snyder's inept ownership ability over the years will not uh, affect Ron Rivera because he is one of the best coaches and men the game of football has seen. And I've seen that firsthand with the Carolina Panthers. He has a great foundation there with a pretty good defense. Uh, pieces, Montez Sweat, uh, Kerrigan, uh, Jonathan Allen, some of those others. And a couple of great offensive pieces. Dwayne Haskins, young, yes, but he seems to be developing uh, early, later in the season as he got more consistent playing time. Um, the big thing, and Terry McLaurin, the rookie from Ohio State, came on big time for Washington this, this year. So there's a lot of great foundational pieces. Jeremy Sprinkle as well. Um, I think the big thing for Ron Rivera will be his coaching hires. His defensive coaching hires uh, were always pretty well received in Carolina, maybe not Eric Washington. I think we uh, stuck with him a little too long, and that could have been the bane of um, Ron Rivera, especially since he's a defensive guy. But it's been reported that he will go after Jack Del Rio, who has A, head coaching experience, and is a great defensive mind, so that would be a great pairing, but I think the thing that is going to make or break him in Washington is uh, his offensive coordinator hirings and his offensive line, because that's basically what broke him in Carolina, sticking with Mike Shula too long um, and North Turner too long as well, and I think, honestly, when we lost Rod Trzynski to the Cleveland Browns for one year, because Cam Newton, that was, I believe, Cam Newton's rookie year, and there was just uh, offensive innovation all over the place when Chud was the offensive coordinator, and Carolina is going to look to uh, get back to that. But the big, the big thing is, um, what will Dwayne Haskins be under Ron Rivera? Because Dwayne Haskins is no Cam Newton, and can Ron Rivera? Um, get an offensive line because again that was another reason that uh, his time in Carolina came to an end but I really um, am happy for Ron Rivera he did a lot for the Queen City and deserves this opportunity I again I just hope um, Dan Snyder doesn't ruin um, Ron Rivera uh, reputation as a head coach because he's just a great man and very well deserved. So good luck in Washington. I know we're going to see a lot of former Carolina Panthers or Buffalo Bills heading down to Washington, and it'll be interesting to watch there. Um, he's reuniting with Josh Norman. Hopefully, maybe he can get him on track there. But uh, he didn't wait around, and I didn't expect him to be on the free agent coaching market very long because of the pedigree and the respect he has around the league. So congratulations, Riverboat Ron. Good luck in Washington. Uh, I will be kind of cheering you on as long as you don't play the Carolina Panthers. But when you do, I hope you lose, as always. But uh, 
this is a good start for Washington. A new direction in the decade. He is a great culture changer and just a great guy. So really good hire. And I hope it works out for Washington and their fans because they deserve a winner. And it would just be better for the NFL to have a more uh, competitive NFC East uh, division as we saw this year. It was basically who survived and the Eagles barely survived with all their injuries. But we'll see what happens 2020 and beyond. Thank you, Riverboat Ron. Um, good luck.